Hey there, cats and kitties, I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video I'll be discussing some brief thoughts on episode 3 of the anime series, Watamote. And you know, by the end of this episode, I, I almost really am starting to feel bad for Tomoko, you know? Um, she is one of my favorite anime characters just three episodes in, because she's absolutely hilarious, and there are certain aspects of it that are actually starting to tug at my heartstrings a little bit. In her, you know, socially ineptness, if you will, um, the predicament she gets herself in because she has such a mentality of being internal and being reclusive um, and thinking, you know, manga tropes and gaming tropes and anime and stuff like that are real life, you know, or are real life mentalities or interpretations, that kind of thing. I mean, it's just hilarious to me on one note, but at the same time, it's like, I've known people like this, and I've had experiences that were similar enough um, where you just, you identify with it, and it's hard to see this character who you like, who I've come to like, putting herself through this stuff. Um, there's a level of awareness that I'm hoping, because the whole series, you know, the, we have to remember that each episode there's a continuity. You know, it all follows on what happened previously. It isn't like... Every new episode's a new scenario. I mean, it is, but it's not that we've forgotten everything that's come before. It's building up and building up, and I have to wonder what it's going to build up to. That's largely my investment in this show, other than being entertained by this character. I'm largely wondering, you know, is she going to have a nervous breakdown, or is she going to finally find some level of being able to push past all of this strife that she's bringing down on herself? Um, in this episode, you know, you see her being scolded by her teacher twice. Uh, one was in the very realistic, you know, threat of death um, because of the overflowing river and stuff like that. But walking through the rain, this is something that I had to do recently, you know, no umbrella and nobody was, you know, really giving a crap and everything. And you see her, you know, basically getting pinned against these two guys who are also trying to get out of the rain. And it's so sad that she makes this joke about taking a big, messy crap. Uh, I did laugh at that, you know, but she's she's on the verge of tears because of this. You know, she's like forced into this, pinioned into this meeting and having to deal with these two guys. And then she falls asleep. You know, they're not there when she comes back out of the bathroom. And what do they do? They actually do a kindness for her. If she was only awake to experience that a lot of difference would have been made. Although, she does have such a pervy side to her mind that she'd probably read into it in a way, um, which would be hilarious and awkward and stuff like that. But, I mean, you know, then she goes home and, you know, she goes to school the next day. There's a basketball thing. She ends up being subjected to overhearing this psychological test, air quotes. And, of course, it's meaningless. It's talking about virginity versus, you know, non-virginity and all this stuff. And she just feels so much worse about herself. She's taking it as, you know, this is gospel truth. And it's so sad because she, she gets to the point where it's almost like she does have a nervous breakdown. She just passes out, uh, you know, from the stress and the strain ends up home and, you know, she's trying to take care of her brother, getting a little weird with her brother and everything, trying to get herself sick so she can be out of school, ends up screwing up her whole weekend. And then she finds out, according to the test, you know, her friend you, it looks like her friend has another one-up on her. So it's like, wow, this has got to be messing with this character's mind. But it, it's, on the one hand, it's sad, and on the other hand, it's hilarious because, as I say, you relate to this stuff, you know, th this stuff is not too far distant from how real life is for us, you know, as far as feeling awkward, as far as feeling like you have to do certain things to get attention or be popular. And so it's a compelling commentary that's going on in this series while also being done in a way that is just hilariously awkward and hilarious altogether. So, yeah, this episode was interesting, and I can't wait to see what happens in the next one. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of this episode if you've seen it. And otherwise, that'll be it for me. So, I'll catch you later. Peace.